Had a great meeting with the Downtown Revitalization Committee this morning. They're the ones that did all the hanging baskets downtown. You ever see those? I have a YouTube channel. I make videos about Kathiani. So we're really? doing. Yeah. Like about, like, like you living in Yeah. Kathiani itself, me living in Kathiani, our church, projects, different stuff that we do. Yeah. People are always wondering why I'm uh, walking around with a camera. <laughs> or that, uh, like five times a day I get the question. Hey, what's that fuzzy thing on your phone? <laughs> I'm promoting the YouTube channel everywhere, and you should be too, you know? We're almost to 500 subscribers, so have a little celebration when that happens, maybe. I had to go back in for a couple things, and the Aldi's manager said, hey, you're not allowed to film in here. <laughs> so Aldi's, what's up? You should be sponsoring me, not kicking me out of your store. I mean, your prices are wonderful. Your place is great. I love it. You should be paying me to promote you, not kicking me out. Come on now. If you're on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, you know, send this link to Aldi's for this video and maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll sponsor me for the next one. <laughs> Got our feast planned for tomorrow, summer of serve. It'll be a good day. Got hamburgers and hot dogs and watermelon and sides and all kinds of stuff. So come on out, serve with us, and then come and celebrate with us at the church afterwards, having dinner together. Dang it. This woman is ruthless this week. Just not had a good time with the tickets. I've been paying the meter all week and then I have $20 in tickets now in one week. That's a thousand bucks a year, but she hasn't got me for a long time, so I guess I was due. Lady came to my office yesterday and she said, don't they know you're a pastor? They shouldn't be giving you parking tickets. <laughs> I said, I don't think that they really care. <laughs> I always think it's funny when people look at me as a pastor because I, I don't know, I just don't feel like a pastor, like how people picture a pastor to be. I was going to film outside of the office, but it's so loud out here. I don't know what's going on at Rosebud, but they're doing something. All right, I'll go this way. should be better. Uh, so I just think that's always weird how people, you know, they'll be talking a certain way and a lot of people be swearing or whatever, and then they'll find out later in the conversation that I'm a pastor and then they'll be like, Oh, I'm sorry I said all that and they like sit up straight in their chair and it's like everything changes in their demeanor towards me and uh, you know I I just don't understand why that's the case you know if you think that you should act a certain way around different people then just pretend everyone's a pastor and then all of a sudden you'll just act better <laughs> just a couple quick thoughts on being a pastor you know the whole job is uh, is is a joy honestly there are some really difficult parts as far as preaching funerals and doing those kinds of things that uh, really hard, uh, but at the same time, uh, the blessings far outweigh the uh, the difficulties. You've seen on my wall before all the pictures of baptisms, and here's all the people up here. That's the best part of it, is I get to be a part of each one of those people's lives. And I get to watch them change and grow, and uh, it's just a really, really awesome thing. Uh, the one real difficult part for me is the sermons, though. And I used to have this paralyzing fear of public speaking. I know, it's like weird, right? <laughs> but really, I do. I just, uh, and I still, I kind of have this anxiety every time that I know that I'm going to have to speak, even though I get up and speak, you know, dozens of times every year for extended periods of time. But there's several hours of research and writing and a lot of different things that go into that whole process. And it's not only that, it becomes this all-consuming thing because the idea that I have for Sunday, you know, has been in the back of my head for, you know, probably close to a month now. Since I've been talking about it so much, I'm planning to actually, I'll share the sermon on the Greatest City in the World page because I think that this one is going to be geared towards everybody. So if you are uh, have a, any kids that are going back to school or even if you're just a normal person who just wants to hopefully be inspired to uh, be a world changer, uh, that's what this is going to be about. It's going to be about uh, being an influencer to those around you and not being influenced by all of the things happening around you, but to just be uh, settled and to be firm in the things that uh, God wants you to do.
That's probably way more than you wanted to know. But if you ever have any questions about that, um, I am a very, very much a part-time pastor. We have a church that's just full of volunteers. Um, I don't get paid to pastor or do any of that kind of stuff. It's, we have an awesome church and just a great group of people that makes that job so, so much easier. But anyway, I digress. I have a couple more things to accomplish tonight. I don't know if I'll get back to the video. So if not, I'll just uh, see you in the next one, guys. It's always weird when you're going on vacation. You're like, I'm not gonna be back here for a week. Kinda feels good. As a business owner, kind of feels a little nervous, but I have really amazing employees, so it doesn't make me too nervous. Super excited to get away with the family and spend time with the kids and my wife for a whole week, and uh, gosh, I just can't wait. I don't want to look past summer to serve, and I don't want to look past Sunday, but man, I'm pretty excited for Sunday night. Thank you. Always milk. Always need milk. Hey, beautiful, how are you?